But what happened a few days ago on January 6th, I got to talk about it. I mean, how could I not, right? And you know what? As you're watching this video, I want you to really reflect on what I'm saying, okay? Try your best. Because what happened on January 6th was the epitome of what what it what people mean of what it means when people talk about white privilege okay now i know this is going to trigger you some of you guys but hear me out hear me out okay because i'm going to back this up with some substance okay because you see during the blm protests the cops acted as if the protesters were protesting government officials killing people unnecessarily, okay? That if they crossed the line, that, that the cops form, right? That the cops would form lines. That, that if these protesters crossed the line, that they would beat them. They would beat unarmed pro, uh, protesters with batons that they would pepper spray them that they would run vehicles through crowds of protesters they'd shove old men to the ground to the point where they hit their head and have to be hospitalized and almost die often not even if the protesters were trying to break a line, because most of the time they were not even trying to get anywhere. They were just out on the streets protesting. So often, a lot of the times, it was simply because the protesters were hurling insults at them. That's why. They even formed an anti-BLM protest movement in conjunction uh, with pro-Trumpers, okay? Because how dare people protest cops abusing their power? How dare they not bow their heads and submit? And what were the cops protecting during the BLM riots? Often nothing. Often nothing. Except maybe their pride. Most of the time, when looters did take advantage and, and break into businesses and burn, you know, burn them down, the cops just stood by. For the most part, right? Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Unlike many of the anti-BLM people out there, you know, uh, letting... Let me rephrase that. Unlike many of the anti-BLM people, you know, claiming that... that that the cops were just doing nothing while also at the same time uh, protect you know uh, a blue uh, a blue lives matter right the allowing of rioters riot and looters loot in other words to burn themselves out that's been a police tactic for decades why because at the end of the day it's been shown decade after decade okay riot after riot that it yields better results. It's more; they end up being more peaceful and less destructive overall. Right? You get better results. There's a reason why they do it. There's a reason why they do it. They didn't just start doing. You know, they didn't just start allowing rioters and looters do that during the fucking just during the Floyd unrest. Right? As many pro-Trump and anti-BLM right-wingers would have you believe. Why? Because using force against large crowds who are already protesting an injustice in the first place only agitates them. Okay? It only agitates them. And it makes these, dem it makes these demonstrations become more violent. It tends to backfire. This has just been proven. It's been proven to happen time after time after time. Regardless of the country, regardless of the population, it's just the predictable way human beings behave. That's just what it is. It's what it is. All right? But, but 
But during the BLM uh, unrest, the point was to keep them peaceful and to mitigate destruction. Because at the end, the BLM protesters were exercising their constitutional right. There was no threat of any kind of a, of a government takeover of any government buildings. Right? There's no threat of a coup. There was there was no threat of a coup. There was no threat of tipping the scales of government power and authority during the BLM protests. It was just the protests were just trying to sway people to take action to fix the issues constitutionally. All right? Through constitution uh, through constitutional authority to pressure their government officials. That's what to bring awareness. That's what this was for. BLM, the BLM protests, okay, and yet, not through force, right? Not not through force, and yet, police brutalized these people. Oh, police geared up, prepared very quickly, right, for peaceful protesters, and ruled with an iron fist. When you look at the response for BLM and compare it to January 6th, I mean, look, let's compare the results, right? January 6th, weak police response to a mob of white right-wingers, okay? And this is just me observing, okay? This is just the observation that the police could have prepared for, okay? That they, that they were unprepared, that they couldn't have, they didn't have enough time to prepare is bullshit, okay? The, pro, the, the, the mob had to walk from the location of the rally, of that Trump rally, to the Capitol. You know that there were cops at that rally. And you know that they saw that mob headed towards the Capitol. They could have quickly picked up the phone and called the other cops. Hey guys, there's an angry mob thanks to our dear leader, okay? headed that way and they're pissed. Instead, there was a comparatively weak presence of police on January 6th compared to what we saw for most of BLM peaceful protests. Right? Now, I just want to really quickly point this out because when, when people say mostly peaceful, I know that a lot of other fucking people say, oh yeah, you call a, a protest that has been peaceful all day and ends up violent. Yeah, of course it was mostly peaceful. That's not what they meant. When people are talking about that the BLM protests were mostly peaceful, they're talking about that throughout the entire country, the vast majority of protests were peaceful through their entirety. That's what they're talking about. Okay? Um, so, anyway, so there was a, a comparatively, comparatively weak police presence. And they seemingly were very reluctant to use force. I mean... I was just watching several videos just recently, like 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 I'm talking about like a couple hours ago, all right? Not many videos of cops beating the shit out of people or pepper spraying them. Instead, they ran away. Cops run away. And and in some instances, open the gates allowing everybody in. This was into the capital. The capital. Okay? This was a mob of people that that uh, were on the side of cops during BLM. Oh, geez. These are good people. You know what? You know what? I'll give them the benefit of, of the doubt. I'm sure that, that thousands of them, should they come across somebody like, oh, I don't know, AOC, man, they won't hurt her. Nah. You know, you know, had, had, had these people come across people like AOC, you know they would have killed her, man. You know what they would have done. If this had been a mob of of, of Muslim Americans, even some are some of them armed with zip ties, like these people were. Some actually armed with guns, yelling "Execute Trump!" like these people were saying, "Execute Biden." Where is he? Where Where is Biden? Where Where? I'm sorry, not Biden. Uh, Pence. Where's Pence? We're gonna. He should be executed. Had, these, had this been a group of Muslim Americans chanting, where's Trump? 
he should be executed. The response would have been, fucking ISIS, that's ISIS. Crush them, beat them down. At the very least, at the very least, there would have been fear-mongering that maybe some of them were, were actual terrorists from, you know, from, uh, from, 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 from the Middle East among them that would kill some politicians, maybe steal classified material. But simply that they would use, that they would use, that they would force their way into the Capitol building. How dare they even try? They'd have been immediately crushed. And by the way, these people, they did steal hard drives that who knows what, what were in them. Okay? Maybe they had classified information. Oh, but hey, they're right-wingers. Mostly white. Okay? Some with the Confederate flag. The flag of our enemy. Planted at the Capitol. There, again, there's reports that they were yelling. That, that many people were yelling that they wanted to, that they were looking for Mike Pence and that they wanted to execute him. They even had a gallow out in front. I mean, I don't know if that's what they were going to take him to hang him, but they wanted to execute uh, uh, Pence. They were talking about hanging him, according to uh, to Reuters photographers. Meh, no big deal. I mean, we don't want to hurt people. This is the cops talking, right? This is me pretending to be a cop there. Eh, well, we don't want to hurt them. I mean... I mean, they're, they're, on, geez, they're on our side. I mean, most cops, most cops supported Trump. You don't think they had those those sort of biases? Ah, oh, God, it's just, they're, they're people that we agree with them. No, you don't think that, I, I saw videos of these protesters beating the shit out of some cops. None of them reached for pepper spray. None of them reached for a gun. You know who had the guns? The Secret Service. Not the cops. The Secret Service are the ones that shot that girl. It wasn't the cops. No. But yet an unarmed black guy is a threat. Who's running away. And they shoot him. Because they're... They're afraid, right? They're afraid. But oh, you know, thousands of, of right-wing white Trumpists with the Confederate flag, with the flag of our enemy again. Okay? Nah. Eh. I'm sure that if they beat me up, eh, you know what? I saw fucking cops laying there wincing in pain. No other cop pulled a gun. If they did, I don't see no videos. I saw videos of cops getting beat up, okay? Trump, uh, 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 Trumpists calling cops traitors to their face, okay? I mean, what could the cops do? Maybe the cops thought, man, these people love us. They love us. Oh, God, I have to do my job and pretend, you know, to stop them. There's videos of them opening the doors and letting these people in. Oh, my life is in danger. They're, they're squeezing, they're smothering me. There was a video, right, where where there was this cop and and all these protesters were 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 not pro, I don't even pro, but coup attempters. I don't even know what you call it, right? Mob, were were smothering and crushing them. But they're on our side. You probably thought, man, they're on our side. Black Lives Matter, bow the fuck down. Bow down. These people were allowed to take over the capital. Is this not white privilege? It looks to me like it is. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. See, again, I pointed as I pointed out earlier, the fact that Capitol Police or any other government officials didn't see a need to better prepare or simply fail to do so. Simply fail to see what was about to come is in and of itself a privilege that no other group would have enjoyed. See what I'm saying? Like I said, 
had it been a mob of Muslims or Black Panthers, bring the National Guard, protect your capital at all costs. Anyone who breached the line, mow them down. See what I mean? The very cops themselves hesitated and, and mostly did nothing. They did nothing physically to deter these people except for except for just stand there like idiots. Oh, golly gee. They're not bad. Come on. It's just a bunch of Trump supporters. Harmless. Meanwhile, they yell, find and execute Trump. Imagine, imagine, had they bumped into somebody like Nancy Pelosi. She would have been torn to pieces like wolves tear deer apart. Again, had it been Muslims, BLM, Black Panthers, crush these thugs, these terrorists, these threats to our democracy, to America. Kneeling during the anthem? Disrespectful. Puh. Oh, the Confederate flag at the Capitol as it's being overrun? Nothing to see here. Not, nothing. It's just it's just one guy. Just one guy among among a group of peaceful protesters. Just one guy. Oh, one protester at, at BLM uh, um, at a BLM protest broke a window and, and rioted? It's your duty as an American to denounce those people among you, BLM. Um, any of people among you who would riot and loot, denounce them. Oh no, then you're a traitor to America. Oh, some on our group had the Confederate flag and beat up cops and and broke the broke into the fucking Capitol. Oh come on, that was just one guy. Don't blame all of us. Damn media fake news. So, I don't know. Is this not white privilege? Is this not white privilege? I've been hearing that white privilege doesn't exist. What the, what did we see? What did we see? Why are cops so quick? to brutalize people protesting cops, simply protesting, not going somewhere to overrun a place, okay, in general, just a bunch of people gathered in the streets protesting. Yet, yet the co again, there's videos out there, right, of cops mowing people down with, 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 running into them with their vehicles, beating the shit out of them. On January 6th, the cops didn't fear for their lives. Is that not white privilege? Let me know. Let me know.